Marine Le Pen wrapped up the rebranding of her party with a classic speech, touching all the points she knows will get the cheers from her home crowd. Tough on the European Union, and tough most of all on the effects of immigration. Immigration legal and illegal and illegal immigration are no longer tenable. The French people's money must go back to the French people first. We no longer have the means to welcome, to house, to care for or to feed the whole world. But the high point came at the end when she announced her suggestion to rename the party. It must signal an absolute demand to unite the country in the defence of its identity, its prosperity and its security and freedom. I therefore propose that the National Front become the National Gathering. So the National Front is dead but not quite buried yet. The members will have a chance to vote on the name change in the next few weeks. The most important thing for me was to keep the word national and I think that the word gathering is coherent. Now the idea is no longer to be a front but to gather people together to win and take power. Demonstrators took to the streets of Lille to show what they called their contempt for the rebranding of the National Front. They said it was just another attempt to disguise fascism. But back in Paris, a warning from an expert who knows the party at first hand, an opposition councillor in one of their heartlands. Let's not forget the National Front got the highest score in its history last year. The fact she made a fool of herself at the debate doesn't mean the party is finished. The party's founder, Jean-Marie Le Pen, has now been stripped of his position as honorary president of the National Front, but he can't be written out of history. He's just published the first volume of his autobiography and it's turned into a bestseller. He said changing the name was committing political suicide. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Lille.